So I just wanted to do a quick comparison video about Lamy's fine and extra fine nibs. I think this is a question a lot of people have had online and it's a question of I've had in the past and I sort of still have. And that is, should I buy or should I use a Lamy fine or extra fine? Because they really are quite close to one another and both are quite common and easy to find with the uh, extra fine being a little bit harder in some cases. So here is a Lamy extra fine, if you can make that out, on a logo. And here is a Lamy fine nib, you can see the EF versus the F, on a CP1. The feeds on these two pens should be identical, so it shouldn't really matter whether it's on one type of pen or the other. The, what difference it makes is that this is fine and this is extra fine. So uh, at a visual inspection, I think you could see the extra fine is just a bit smaller than the fine. It's hard to do this scientifically and this isn't like macro photography, uh, photographic equipment, it's a cell phone camera, but I think we could just about make out that the extra fine is a little bit smaller than the fine. For reference, I do have another fine and that was just because I just happened to have one lying around and this is a fine on a, a brand new Vista. Okay, so visually, they don't make a very big difference. When you're writing with them, surprisingly, it doesn't make, it's hard to tell a difference between the two as well. And this is when the whole thing gets a little bit perplexing. So what I did was I just did three writing samples on three different types of paper. Uh, paper with varying ink resistances. And all the, the ink I'm using is Lamy Standard Blue. It's not like the best ink or my favorite or anything. I just wanted it, the ink to be consistent and really to focus on the nibs. Uh, so first of all, I have a Clairefontaine. This is a Triumph paper. This is like a smoothish, medium absorbent, kind of a good everyday paper. So we are at, here we have the extra fine, fine, and fine. Uh, I wish I had more extra fines. I just neglected to buy them, I guess. And I just happened to have the two fines. So you can see the difference between the fine and the extra fine is, is really minimal. I wouldn't look at any of them and say it was finer. The extra fine might be a little skinnier, but it's really difficult to tell. So on a paper like this, you are getting very limited difference. If anything, I would say the most notable is that the fine seemed a little bit wetter when you're writing and that the Lamy fine, uh, sorry, the Lamy Vista fine, the brand new one, seems slightly smoother than the other two. And I don't know if that's just because it's brand new or it was just made from the factory better or the fact that this pen has been, had, had a total writing time of like an hour. So uh, it just seems a little bit smoother than the other fine and the extra fine. But uh, moving on. Now this is a Fabriano paper. This is sort of a, uh, I would say, heavyweight, high absorption paper, sort of like a high-end printer paper. And here you could see where there's more absorption and more sp spreading, there's basically no difference. Because here that uh, there's very little ink resistance and the paper really soaks it up. So the differences are bas basically zero. In fact, the extra fine might look a little bit broader than the fine, I don't know. So no real difference there. Again, the fines seem a little bit smoother and the Vista fine seems the smoothest, but really not much difference. For reference, there is a medium, and you could see it's uh, inkier and definitely wetter than the other two. Lastly, we'll move over to a Tomoe River paper, and this is a paper with very high ink resistance. So if anything, we should see the least spreading here, and this should be the most accurate portrayal of the difference between extra fine and fine. Again, I did the medium for reference there. Uh, so looking at the top, we see the extra fine, 
and then the fine. And fine number two is just the Vista. I forgot I had that. So extra fine might seem a hair finer. It's really hard to tell. It's not very noticeable in the general writing. With lines, it does not seem very noticeable. With pressed lines, like a little bit more pressure, there, I think you could see the fine putting down a little bit more ink than the extra fine. Sorry about that. With uh, those cursive squiggly S's, about the same, and then a couple more lines. Real no, Really no difference there. So it seems just like with pressure, the extra fine is staying finer. But with general writing, there's no real difference. And then just quick impressions, I would say Lamy Fine is just a it's, a, it's a nice writing nib. It's good for day-to-day -day use. It's good for smallish writing. It's good for quick writing. I, I like it a lot. I used to always use the medium and I've started to transition more into that fine size. And again, that's true. Here's the other fine with the CP1, so. Just nice writing, no problems. Moving on to the extra fine, which from Lamy is more like a fine than other brands. It still writes nicely. It seems a little bit drier than the other one. It doesn't have that sort of wet feeling. But the ending result is really not very different than what we had in the fine. Writing like this, I think you could see the extra fine is a little bit finer, but the differences are really quite minimal. So. It's kind of like maybe a five or 10% difference. I'd say a 10% difference. Again, and that's just a random number I'm gonna come up with to help quantify this since you don't have a pen in hand and maybe you're like in a buying mode, you gotta figure it out. I would say it's like a 10% shift. Once we're moving over, this is a, it's really hard to make that out. This is a medium. Now we're seeing a fairly big difference. So this is a Lamy medium. Now we're seeing more ink get put down, smoother writing. Definitely starting to feel some difference there. So that's when you're shifting sort of like, I don't know, 20% in the other direction. So now you're actually seeing a fair bit of difference. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. A little bit of a cold going around. So anyway, there's not a big difference between a Lamy Fine and Extra Fine. I think there might be some issues with consistency. I've heard that in the past. So maybe not all the fines are the same and maybe not all the extra fines are the fine are the same. But if you're looking at a Lamy and you want to do day-to-day -day writing on most papers, you don't really have to worry too much about which one you get. If you want general writing, I would say go ahead, get the fine. You're going to be really happy with it. This fine on a new Vista is a killer combination. It writes really nicely and it's incredibly smooth. And it's a lot smoother than pens I spent a lot more on. And I think maybe it's just because it's new or maybe this one had just slightly better uh, treatment at the factory than some of the other ones. It's hard to say. So generally I would say go with the fine. If you tend to write smaller or on very ink resistant paper, then the extra fine is probably okay. But most people, I think, are going to be happy with the fine. So.
Let me know your thoughts below. I'm curious to hear what people think.